Welcome back to the McCowan Podcast for a Monday. The baseball season's near the end. Dave Hodge is in for Bob this week. And look who the cat dragged in today. Paul Beeston. What are you? Chairman Emeritus. Well, I think that's what they call me right now, but I'm not 100% certain what my job is other than chief cheerleader. Well, you're doing a pretty good job the last week or so. Well, you know, I am enjoying it. I must say that much. I didn't do a, I would say 10 games ago, it wasn't a lot of fun, those four games against Texas. However, then we got the games against Boston. I don't know how we won them, but we won them. Then went in the Yankees, won a couple, and then a couple in the Tampa Bay uh, with a chance maybe to have done three if we got through that ninth and the Saturday game. But, you know, the bottom line of it is it's fun, and that's what we all wanted, wasn't it? The month of yeah. September to mean something. Um, I didn't know what's going to mean this much, and the roller coaster is not good for the old ticker. Do you, um, do you believe in momentum? I, I do believe in momentum. I mean, I really do. And I think that it's important that, you know, that right now that we're doing the things that we should be doing well, which is basically, if you look at the whole year, which is, um, you know, defense and pitching. And I think that part of it is the thing that can give us the hope for the momentum going in. We haven't hit as well as I think we thought we were going to hit. We haven't hit with the power I thought we were going to hit with, uh, but we're scoring the runs when necessary. And even we got, I mean, if we have just a 50-50 week this week, you know, we're going to be over 500 or over 90 games. Um, and so, you know, that's that's the key. And then we'll go into the postseason. We'll see what happens. Hi, Paul. A mutual uh, friend uh, said I should begin by suggesting that uh, sailing be the topic of our discussion. Um, <laughs> On the high seas. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to respectfully ignore that idea and uh, continue <laughs> with, with baseball. Look, you referenced the Texas series. The Jays couldn't have played worse. Uh, they played, I would say, somewhat better since, but um, many of these wins have, uh, have seen their opponents hand them victories with walks and hit batsmen and, and errors. Um, if you're a Jays fan, you're happy that the playoff spot is almost a lock. How happy uh, are you otherwise? Well, I think that's a really good way of putting it. I mean, I think the whole year has been a roller coaster, Dave. I think you'd agree with that. I mean, you know, every time that you think this team is going to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a roll, um, something happens, and you know, you say, "Boy, the team's not going to win." And you know, then all of a sudden, you know, you strip the team off, and the team comes back and does it. Um, I think that's maybe the game right now. I mean, I think that, you know, maybe the game is that, you know, the pitches into the screen like we saw in Kansas City. Maybe it's the walks that we saw in New York. Maybe it sits back when we saw down in Tampa Bay. Maybe you're 100% right. But the bottom line of it is it's scoring more runs on the other team. And, you know, I think that's what we have to have to look at. Every team seems to have weakness other than maybe, I don't know, maybe Atlanta, the Dodgers. Um, you know, but there is, and Baltimore is a good team. And obviously Tampa is a good team. But it's tough to win. It's tough to win in September. Um, and uh, maybe that's the reason why some of these um, hit batsmen are happening. Maybe that is some of the walks are happening, you know, all the things. But we'll take the runs as we can get them because we've lost some games we shouldn't have lost too. I would say that uh, other teams would be a lot better uh, if they were healthier. Uh, everybody's got injuries, um, and the Blue Jays have Danny Jansen out, Brandon Belt out, but um, – I can't remember a season with with more injuries everywhere else, but I think we can say that the Jays probably lead the league in terms of good health. Um, you know, I have this thing about um, broken fingers and hands and right <laughs> wrists suffered by uh, batters hit by pitchers, and then there are the injuries to the pitchers. I mean, some of the best in the game are out, uh, and Shane McClanahan would be one of them, uh, affecting a Tampa Bay playoff series. Um, where should we start in discussing injuries? Well, I think you've got to consider ourselves relatively lucky this year. You know, I mean, Danny Jansen, you know, has had a history of injuries over his career, quite frankly. Uh, but, you know, when he was hitting well and he was a person that, you know, you kind of look to come up to drive in the key runs when you needed him to. Uh, but, you know, the bottom line of it is we've been very fortunate with our pitching. Um, and and maybe that's maybe that's good scouting. I mean, maybe that's those good signs other than Ryu coming back. I mean, if you look at Gaussman, you look at Bassett, you look at um, and you and you look at Berrios, they don't miss many starts and they haven't in the past. So that's a, a pretty good situation um, with the relief pitching. It's also been it's also been pretty good. And from a defensive point of view, I would say that, you know, we've been we've been fortunate in our outfield. I mean, you know, we had a little bit of a, a little bit of um, of, of um, Kiermaier being off and um, and, uh, and Springer, but not for very long. And at the very end, at the very end of the day, the infield other than Bo 
um, and uh, and maybe a couple of weeks with uh, with with Chapman um, has has been there. So we've been very fortunate. But you know that's um, that's part that's part of that's part of the game, and you hope it doesn't catch up with us in the last week as we go into the into the postseason. The Springer uh, Springer being as healthy as he has all year has probably been one of the positives when you consider. In the first few years of the contract, he he never seemed to be able to stay healthy. You're 100 right, John. You know, and then, and quite on and quite honestly, maybe he has the power that you know that we thought he was going to have this year. And you know, he got his 20th home run with it inside the Parker. But um, you know, the one thing that you worry about with him is he plays all out 100 percent of the time. And you know, whether he's flying through the air catching a ball, whether he's running and may try to make a single into a double or scoring from first, um, the inside the Parker, I I. I I mean, I didn't know whether he was going to make it around there, but boy, I'll tell you, when he got motoring, um, you know, it was like it was a, a hundred meter dash, and you know, and he was, uh, and he, and he, and he was something. But uh, Springer plays the game like the way that you want all your players to play all the time. I mean, you know, he just a hundred percent effort, and he's just a joy to watch. And you know, he's a, he's an outstanding defender, and probably playing right where he wants, but the throw last day, yesterday and catch the runner at second base, you know, diving for the ball inside the park room. Right away. That's quite a day, quite frankly. <laughs> so they just won uh, two games at, at the trop. Uh, yeah. And that's, let's assume that that's what they'll be asked to do in the first round of the playoffs. That's the way uh, the standings uh, would, would suggest. Um, is it still a house of horrors no matter what? Mm. Or when you consider that <laughs> Gosman will pitch uh, in the playoffs, he didn't pitch on the weekend, and the the, the Rays are missing half a team, uh, including, as I said, McClanahan and Franco and R Lau and R Rayleigh and Siri and and half their starting pitching, Rasmus and Springs. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It would be easy for a Blue Jays fan to feel uh, confident, except for the House of Horrors. I mean, how, how much of a factor might it be in a playoff series? Well, I think you have to worry about it. I mean, you know, but you also have to be confident. I don't think you can be. I don't think you can sit back and be afraid of it. You know, we went down there this year, and uh, you know, finally we we got got at least five hundred against them down there. But I mean, they are after a while. You have to tip your hat to them, Dave. I mean, you know, they do it year after year after year. And I know what's a cliche, next man up, next man up. Uh, they don't use those words. They do it. I mean, it's the next man up. I mean, where do they come from, all these guys? So, you know, they can say, and you gave the whole list of people that wrote it, including I mean, uh, uh, Rosa, uh, Rosa Renna, you know, like I mean, when he comes back, I mean, like, it's a different, it's a different team. Diaz out yesterday, it's a different team. But it's next man up. But we're not a bad team. And, you know, quite frankly, we've got some experience, you know, and we're going to be going in there. I don't think afraid of what's happening in the, and the history of them, because a lot of these players don't know the history that we don't seem to have won there for a long time. And, you know, we're going down there. You know, it's um, it'll be one where they know us. We know them. I mean, play, you imagine playing six games to, against each other. It reminds me of back in 19, I believe it was 1991 when it was the same situation with Minnesota. We played them kind of at the end and then went in and played Minnesota um, for the for the uh, first round of the playoffs. And that's going to be kind of like, kind of like this one. I mean, we're going to be tired of each other. I mean, you know, and, and right now it looks like there's a love in between them. They're all talking at first base. Everyone seems to be happy. Everyone seems to be smiling. That, that'll that change. That, that'll that change. But I don't think we can worry about that. I think you know, you got to just throw it, throw it away. It's Two out of three, and you know, and the key is is to to get down there and play the ball that we um, can play, which is basically pitching and pitching and defense. You know, in the NHL, they always say that regular season hockey is totally different than playoff hockey. Um, is the same true for Major League Baseball? Is, is it that much different when you consider, it, well, particular in these wild card series, that it's such a short series? Well, I don't know if it's much different. I think the game probably is, doesn't change the same way. It's still it's still the same. It's the same. It's still the same game. I think when you get to hockey and basketball, maybe it ramps up a little bit more. The uh, I don't want to call it intensity because I think both uh, or all the sports would be intense. But I think it gets a little bit more physical. It gets um, it gets in in the hockey. I would say that going into going 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 in there, John. The big thing is 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 two out of three. It's kind of like you know it you can't afford to make a mistake. I mean, that first game is important. 
Let me tell you, you know, it, it, I mean, four to seven, probably the best team should win. If you're at a five, it's, you know, probably less than the four to seven, but still a shot. And two out of three, you know, a really couple of well-pitched games against even the best hitting team in baseball, you know, can beat them. You know, if you get, if, if you get the pitching and, and, and you get the good fortune that Dave was talking about before, maybe you get a walk when you didn't expect walk, a bad call. Maybe it's a wild pitch. Maybe it's a pass ball. I have no idea. But I know, I know one thing that, you know, that two out of three, Two out of three hits. You know, we, we don't live that way. We play 162 games. Yeah. You know, and, and then and then it goes, and you know, as opposed to the other sports, you know, Monday's off. And the way it works now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. So, you know, for one of those teams or four of the teams in that first round, you know, they got four extra days and the teams didn't make the playoffs. I mean, you know, I... simple, simple as that. You're at <laughs> or you're home. I spent uh, uh, I, I spent a few uh, days uh, uh, traveling with our pal John Gibbons, right? Uh, and 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 he was just saying, this is a team that plays the game in such a manner they just have to get in because their pitching is so much better than anybody else's, you know, both in the rotation and in the bullpen. Is, is do you think that's as a big a fact as 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 he makes it? Is that where this team is different than anybody else? I, I wouldn't dispute. I wouldn't dispute what John said. I mean, I think Cena was saying the same thing. I mean, but you know, the over 162 games, you know, our hitting hasn't been. I think what we all thought it was going to be. But quite frankly, I think the pitching, you know, will give us the give us a chance to be competitive in every single game. And uh, the fact that uh, the fact that we have. Um, uh, five starters, um, you know, and so that goes down to three that first round. And, you know, with the, with the day off, hopefully, as Dave was talking about earlier, they can set it up so they get the starters they want. Um, and then you've got a, a bullpen that, you know, that has been, that has really been improved. And as the season's gone along, has, has proven themselves, certain blips notwithstanding. Um, but, you know, yeah, I do think that, that, I do think that's right. It does give you, but the other part about it is, which I think that, you know, Cedo would say if he were, were asking that is, you know, good defense will help good pitching. So you're taking good pitching with elite defense, particularly in the outfield mm. and a third base, you know, you want your shorts up. I mean, all of it, you can look where you want it. It actually, it actually gives you a shot. And again, you, you can see winning a one or two nothing game. I mean, you can, because of the pitching and the defense. So the answer to that is I think that uh, Gibby's got it right. And I think that um, Cedo will go further than talk about the defense. Mm.